Princess Minute. Somewhere in a faraway place where berries were bigger than oranges, there lived a tiny princess named Princess Minute. She was so called because she kept counting each minute she spent on everything. Oh, that is that. Oh no! I spent two minutes more on my hairdo today. Hmm. That is an utter waste of time. I need to do something about this. Oh wow! That was another almost a minute. Princess Minute is so strange. Yeah. I mean, not that she would ever become the ruler given her size. <laughs> Princess Minute knew what everybody thought of her, but she didn't care always. But sometimes, it got the better of her. Don't you get it, Tony? They are right. I will never be a ruler. I mean, with my size, what am I going to rule? A bush? I'm not even as tall as a full-grown plant. Let's go, Tony. Let's go buy those trinkets I like. They will cheer me up. But we have only 13 minutes to reach the shop. Let's not waste any time. Atop her best friend Tony, Princess Minute was trotting to the market when she heard a cat meowing loudly in the corner. Oh, come on, Tony! We have to keep going. We cannot wait to check who this is. We are losing precious minutes. Well, that was another aspect of the princess. She was a good and patient person, but she found her minutes more precious than people. Have as many as you want. We have all the sweets in the world. Oh, see how comfortable they are. You would want to sleep all night. Our carpets have exotic and imported fabric, sire. Touch and feel. Do these carpets fly? Only if they are challenged by a monkey. What? Why doesn't anybody ever get my sense of humor? Trinkets. Shiny trinkets! Why is it so crowded today? I would have gotten my A's had I known. Ugh! Aha! Uh -huh. My favorite! Ow! Excuse me! I only have six minutes to buy it! Um, hello? Ooh! Can you get me that bangle? No! I want that! Sold! Oh, that anklet would look gorgeous on my wife! No! I am a princess! Listen to me! Sold! No! Wait a minute! Is that our princess? <gasps> Finally! Yes. I would like to buy me some bangles and anklets, please. Um, pardon me, your highness, but I didn't see you there, and now I am all out of bangles and anklets. Oh, uh -uh. that's all right. Get me some small earrings, then. Uh, I am sorry, your highness, but I am out of earrings, too. Had I known you were here, I would have saved some for you, but, uh, I didn't see you or hear you, and so I... I heard you the first time. You don't have to repeat it. I know you didn't see me or hear me because I am small. Uh, your highness, that's not what I mean. But the damage was done. <laughs> No one knew what happened, but Princess Minute stayed in her room for days. Finally, a friendly face came to see her. Hello, sweetheart. What? Who are you? 
Oh, you know, the one who comes when tears flow. Uh, you don't look like a napkin. What? No! I am the fairy of the smiles. I am here to give you a smile. Go away. If you want to make me smile, you'd have to make me taller. I am tired of being invisible. Can you do that? Well, your size is not the reason you feel invisible. What do you mean? <sighs> Sometimes living the example is better than explaining it. How about this? I cannot make you taller and bigger. But I can give you three gifts that would do the job for you. The Fairy of the Smiles gave a walnut, a clip, and a bird to the princess. What? Well, what do I do with them? These are magical gifts. You can use each of them once, whenever, and with whatever you need. But you need to have the strength to not use them for the next 48 hours. And only then will they work their magic on you and make you taller and bigger. Wow. All I have to do is hold on to them for 48 hours? I love counting minutes anyway. This is great. Princess Minute was happy as a ball. She came out of her room and bowed to everybody. She was happy for all day. But later, a man came running to the king. Sire, the dam up in the valley is cracked. The water is coming for our village. If the safety dam also cracks, then at least over 30 villages will be swept away. What? The king, Princess Minute, and the entire cavalry left immediately. Everybody was helping to evacuate the village. Nothing left to do now. <laughs> All our belongings will be gone. <laughs> our house and our memories. We will make new memories. The palace will assist you with everything. Help! Princess Minute heard a woman's cry for help coming from far away. She took her horse and left in that direction without much thought. No, Princess, that's not safe. What happened? My sons! They are swept away in the water! The princess panicked and didn't know what to do. These are magical gifts. You can use each of them once, whenever, and with whatever you need. But you need to have the strength to not use them for the next 48 hours. And only then, they will work their magic on you and make you taller and bigger. What use will my height and size be if I let those kids drown? Princess threw one half of the walnut into the water, hoping that the magic works. And it did. The walnut turned into a big wooden boat and carried the boys with it. Mother! Oh, princess! You are greatest of all! You saved my son's life! Your Highness, we were taken by the wild waters from up the valley. The water will not stop. The dam up in the valley is breaking. And if we could not stop the damage, the entire village will drown. Princess Minute mounted her horse and climbed up the valley. To her surprise, Tony, who hardly trotted, was climbing up like a muscled stallion. Right here, Tony. Look at that. We have to repair that dam. I am the only one here who has magical gifts. I have to try. 
princess used the other half of the walnut to row herself closer to the fissure in the dam. The magic walnut went straight to the fissure without wavering with the waters. She held the dam together with the ends of the cliff and brought them together and the magic happened. The dam was repaired like new. Yay! Tony, did you see that? There was no one around to see and applaud the efforts of the princess. But she didn't care. All she cared about was her kingdom. The princess went back down to see if everything they did had helped. And it had for sure. The villages were saved and the water had calmed down. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> I cannot find Monty, my pop. What if he drowned? <laughs> what? No. Bird, you are up. Fly down there and bring the puppy back. Go. Moments passed, and the bird had done its job. Monty! <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! Yay! Princess, I bow to you in your generosity. Hail, Hail the, the princess. princess! Hail, Hail the, princess. the princess! Hi, princess. Do you have the magical gifts I gave you? Oh, hi there. Uh um. So, I had to use them all. <gasps> you use them all? How will I now make you taller and bigger? But that's the thing, dear fairy. I don't want to be taller and bigger. Someone call me the greatest. And honestly, if my size increases at the cost of my people, I really don't want to become taller. <laughs> you have learned the true meaning of being human, dear. It was never about your size. It was about how you put your good heart to use. I would say my gifts have actually worked. <laughs> Goodbye, princess. Huh? Princess Minute never saw the fairy again, but she understood what she meant. Princess Minute was now seen, heard, and admired everywhere. She was not known as the one who counts minutes. She was known as the one who appreciates lives. So, folks, what was your excuse for not feeling grateful today? <laughs> <laughs>